Good morning. Welcome to Oh My Trucking Life 100 and 11 or 12, sorry, I forgot. <laughs> oh dear. It is Wednesday the 8th of February. And uh, it's quarter past one in the morning. I'm just starting my shift as we speak. I can uh, just fathom it. Just waiting for it to tick into the next minute, then I'll get it going. So I hope you're all well. I'm feeling a little bit better than I have been. Uh, I want to thank James White for uh, just keeping me, uh, just interacting with me over the past two hours, talking to me and keeping me a bit of company I guess. <laughs> if I remember I'll put a link to your channel in my description mate. Um, yeah he's a young lad one of my early followers and his videos are mainly on um, trucking simulator and stuff like that so if you're following my channel then you might be interested go and check him out check out his videos he's a really good lad and he's got great taste in youtubers as you can see <laughs> so uh, yeah we've got to be over there for half one I've been awake since about half eleven again so I've been over and had a shower good couple coffee and try to clear my head because I'm feeling terrible if you've been watching my videos and I feel a lot better now I've had a shower I've still got a bit of a head pressure you know, headache slash pressure but meh maybe I was just a bit tired but I'm all right now so uh, I'm gonna leave you there and get back to you when you uh, I know what I'm doing. Catch you in a bit. Alright guys, it's now half past two and we're on our way. Just coming up to morning glory like I try and keep tradition. We are heading to Belvedere my dears. So down to London again, over the famous Dartford crossing. Uh, ironically, I don't know, in a previous video I've mentioned about Belvedere. I'd have rather been going to Norfleet, mainly just due to the traffic. Um, not to worry. I still will go with 100% commitment and efficiency. Uh, we're reloading in Bury St Edmunds. Which is nice. Lovely little Bury St Edmunds. So it's a similar route to we took yesterday. We'll be going down, down into London. The difference being, instead of turning left after the uh, Dartford crossing, we'll be turning right to go to Belvedere. And then we'll be coming back and eventually coming back via the A14, which is nice, but also could be hell. Uh, yesterday, if you've watched my video, I avoided the A14. Uh, yeah, the A14 because it was showing congestion and an hour's delay. So let's hope today it's running okay. The, uh, it's been known there's been roadworks there, but I think they're finished or they're not there anymore. Touch wood, because it wasn't there yesterday. So let's hope they just wasn't having a day off. <laughs> Excuse me. Terrible gas I've got. Terrible. <laughs> so, uh, yes. Everything was alright. Trailer was ready. Good to go. <sighs> Pooh's kind of stamping his authority over this position now. I had to wrestle him to get into my chair, yet alone try and move him from where he is now in his perch. So, um, his fellow with Bird, 
because Bird, obviously, Bird saw the popularity and the fame that Pooh has been getting lately and he's slightly jealous. So they've had a, oh gosh, when I went to get my paperwork, I came back and there was fucking feathers and shit everywhere. <laughs> They'd had a right little fucking Benny, so I've, uh, I've shoved Bird in my, in my cupboard underneath the bed. So she's, she's calming down. I had to separate them, man. Jesus. It's a good job I found them as I've left the yard because if I'd have gone back into the, get my paperwork after I'd broke it up, I looked like I'd been tarred and feathered but with shit instead of tar. <laughs> oh dear, I'm sure they'll uh, kiss and make up. I don't want no animosity in my truck. Only between me and the fellow retards of the road. <clears throat> anyway, we've got, oh, I forget now, it's about 160 miles. Three, three and a half hours, I'd say. Three and a half to four hours, depending on the traffic. It's early enough, so hopefully we'll. We'll evade the loot and mess, we'll evade anything. The roadworks don't seem to be on today. Oh. Or do I remember passing this? Oh dear. Oh, this is, I can't remember if I passed a sign saying the M6 is going to be shut 2 to 1. No. There's only one way to find out though. Oh dear. I don't know if you can hear it, but I love the sound of these engine brakes. It's a shame it's not a V8, but if you can hear it... Anyway, I've been waffling on far too long. I'll get back to you when I've done 300... Well, I'll get back to you after 200 miles, guys. Alright, well, just a quick update. Um, the M1 shut junction 12 to 11. Uh, I'm going to assume there was a diversion already in place. But um, already there was a red, Google was red saying there was going to be like a 10 minute delay, so I guess it's through the diversion, through the traffic. Um, so basically I've got off at junction oh, 13 I believe, we're on the 421 now heading towards Cambridge. So basically to avoid all that congestion I'm flying down the 421 across towards Cambridge and Bedford areas. Uh, I believe I'll get to the A1 shortly, which will then, I'll head south on the A1. To, re to join the M25 so it's probably helpful because I'll miss the traffic around the diversion I'll also miss any traffic around Luton just in case the Luton mess has already started it's 10 past 5 now so maybe it'll start soon I don't know but um, the sat nav keeps changing its route to uh, send me down random places, but I know where I'm going, so I can't give you a rough ETA or nothing. It's saying I'm 90 miles away now, but it might be a tad more than that due to the route that I'm taking and ignoring the Google for now in case I get Google trapped. So it's a bit foggy, as you can see. I ain't got my fog lights on because uh, there's someone right up me cackle anyway so he knows I'm here there's a truck who can't quite he's keeping up with me but he can't overtake me so not to worry but the fog's getting pretty uh, immense now speak to you all in a bit well guys I didn't quite make it to Belvedere I uh, pulled up about half a mile round the corner on 4 hours 29 driving Oh no, dear, that diversion took a bit of a, 
a stint on my driving. So, what can I do? Eh? I ain't gonna break. I ain't gonna have an infringement showing on my record for the sake of half a mile. So, plus I'd have probably used it. I've, I've, maybe I could have got there in four hours thirty, but then I'd have had to park and go over all the speed bumps. So you know, I'd have gone over about ten minutes at least. So um, just keep it safe, keep it legal. I've parked up here safely, not not causing any obstructions. So. Well, I I've, I've I obstructed some person who didn't know the highway code and didn't want to give way. So that. <laughs> Within within five minutes, there was nearly an accident next to me, but that's just retards for you. So yeah, half an hour break time there. It is some kind gentlemen at Crawley Parker, just over the way there. Let me use the toilet. I was asking another lorry driver, so he knows the, he obviously knows the feeling. So uh, yes. <sighs> I've got, uh, I've got a full load, a full load and fortunately no split pallets to mess around with either so shouldn't be too long to tip which is good and also it shouldn't, well having my brake now means I won't get stuck needing the brake afterwards once I've tipped so Yes, the day's progressing pretty well considering the situation. See you in a bit. Alright, guys, it's quarter to 11 now. So we uh, had our break and got to the depot at 10 to 8. So just under three hours and we're out of there. The main hold up was just paperwork um, it took me 20 minutes to actually be uh, booked in and given a bay 50 minutes to tip and the rest of the time was waiting for my paperwork so uh, we're going to be uh, chasing our tail if, if we're going to get back with our load today. We've got 85 miles precisely to Bury St Edmunds. It's a silly place to leave it mate. Oh excuse me, how rude again. Bit of track wind, sorry. So uh, yes, it's saying it's going to take around an hour and a half. If I was in a car, but I'm not, so it's probably about two hours. Oh, you're indicating now, are you? Thanks, mate. Very professional. So I hope your days are all going well. My day is going pretty well. I can't uh, complain. I'm having a day of calm. After yesterday's... Oh dear. After yesterday's video you probably think I'm a raving lunatic, but uh, I apologise for that. I guess that was just down to me being a bit tired and the diversion in the morning didn't get me in the best of moods and it just, I didn't cheer up ever since, especially that when that arsehole caught me up in the van. But anyway, I digress. <clears throat> If you watched the videos last week, this road was gridlock and I got to that previous junction and turned off and went out, out that way. That's where the time lapse was, I forget which way, uh, sorry, which video it was. But uh, yes, got my Mr. Pooh, he's been guiding me, making sure the truck's nice and warm while I've been loading. Unloading. Ah, la de la. So, let's hope the Dartford Tunnel is event free. And, 
that the traffic remains okay because I've just checked the route and the route looks pretty green. Google's saying it's all green, so yes. There you go, there's an arsehole. You always predict, you get to learn to predict where people are going far quicker than anyone else. I guess it's just a habit because I'm driving all day, don't get me wrong, you know, I'm not blowing my own trumpet. But I knew that Skoda was coming all the way around before even she realised she wanted to come all the way fucking round. Anyway, no need to get agitated, is there now? Right, Mr. Asda looks heavy, so I'm going to go around him. And I shall see you all in sunny Bury St. Edmunds. Or at least I hope it will be. Well, this is the junction. I've got to turn right at this roundabout here. And it follows round. Sorry, should I do it in view? I don't know if you can see the trucks over there. I don't. Basically, the M25 here. Yeah. And you just can't fucking believe what's going on. The motorway's moving okay, but we're not moving off this slip road for some reason. I got fucking cunty bollocks on the inside of me here, thinking he was clever. But if he's blocking the road, then fucking I am. So, you know, my work has been done. I've left the roundabout clear, but he's doing one of he's doing one of the old school tricks where you go up in the wrong lane and then come across. So, I'm going to have to alter my position now to avoid any issue or I could be a retard uh, well not a retard or I could just hold my ground these have all blocked the traffic lights previous to me but if this uh, Vectra keeps coming up the inside then I can't the tanker didn't come round the inside he's came through from the other traffic lights are you going up here? yeah I guess you are so I'll move across for you don't worry mate but because he's a lorry driver, he'll understand that I've had to adjust my positioning to suit him. So in theory, he should let me through. I can just about swing in this. So now either the tanker or that rigid that I just politely let in, well, let around. They should let me in because they know I haven't come round them just to beat them. I've come round them to maintain the flow of traffic. But for some reason, the motorway is like struggling. But once it gets after the junction, it's moving perfectly fine. So the hold up is just this sack of shit layout here. There's no need to have two lanes here going into one. I can understand why they did do that. But there was no point because it just creates the problem here and can cleverly the tank has used his noggin he hasn't came through the lights I'm trying to get out the box I know he is coming now he's letting me across fair play but it goes into two we go we've got a merge there and then we've got another merge around the corner which will again create this bottleneck that we're having but I'm not going to be an arsehole I'm not going to race up and make the issue worse I'll just pick someone like this tanker uh, this tipper and just stay behind them because I've only got 100 yards there if that, 50 yards before I'm, I'll start struggling to get in But then the issue is made even worse again when we get down the bottom. Oh, he's waving me around him. Thank you very much, Mr. Tipper. Whoops. So yes, once we're there, once we're under the tunnel, it's all moving perfect. So we're we're good. We're good. 
just this little bottleneck here. That's all. It's also not helped by the fact that like, you, you get the uh, the convoy system for the tankers, etc. Hmm. <clears throat> now I've shown you going through the tunnel plenty of times in the past, so by the looks of it we're going to be crawling under it today so I'll leave you, uh, I'll save you the heartache of having to witness it because me sitting through it is bad enough, not yet alone you. Alright guys. Sorry, it's been a while. We've uh, we've loaded up now. We're all good. Unfortunately, we still ain't gonna make it. No matter how quick the load was, we just had, didn't have enough time planned for me today. Personally, that's what I think. But uh, never mind. We're gonna go to uh, Lincoln Farm Truck Stop or Cath. I forget the exact name. And it's just down here, conveniently enough. Uh, I'm sorry if the video is a bit shaky. Uh, I've put the wrong, well, the camera's in the wrong harness from earlier. It's still in the same one from earlier when he was over here. So, yes, you're going to have to deal with that, I'm afraid. So, uh, we're. We're, uh, how far away are we? We're a good hour or so still away from the yard, if not a tiny bit more. So, um, we was never going to get back. But uh, we haven't got to mess around with the trailer swap or anything like that, so we just keep you now load on. So I'm Hence why I'm going to the truck stop, so it's a bit safer, or a lot safer than just on a, a lay-by filled with risk. Uh, oh, excuse me, again, with the indigestion and burping. Very heavy, but we are full. Sorry if I'm just stalling for time. I'm just going to keep the uh, camera rolling and keep commentating until we get there. So I'll be having to edit it out later and cut all the different bits. I'm just going to keep keep you sat there. It's only a mile away now, so. Uh, the Lincoln Farm, we've been here before, I've talked about it before, but I love it, I really enjoy the truck stop. Can't really think of any negatives about the place. I haven't used the showers, so I couldn't comment on the quality of those. The food's awesome, uh, the staff are awesome, and the atmosphere is awesome. So, to me, oh, they, uh, they sell beer as well. So it's a, a well-earned point for me tonight, I think. If you're wondering why I'm over here, it's because we've got to turn right. I suppose if I was being extremely harsh, I'd say that the, the surface is a little bit bumpy to get on and park on, but hey, not many truck stops can afford to bloody tarmac two or three acres worth of uh, land just for lorries to uh, rip it up. But um, yes, I've got. I can't fault. Can't fault the place one bit. And the food, like I've just said, it's really good. You get. Um, you get your voucher with your meal and whatnot, and your parking anyway. And by God, is it a meal? It's a trucker's portion, I tell you. I feel guilty when I can't finish it, but I'm only a little man. <laughs> However big my appetite gets, my stomach sometimes can't handle it, especially the way I've been the last few days. 
So anyway, behold, Lincoln Farm. Oh my goodness, truck stop. And I'm arriving. I'm arriving so early that I've got a choice of where to park. So I'm going to leave you here while I go and talk to the guy about the fridges. Speak to you in a bit. Good evening. I am fed, cleaned, watered, and I've spoke to my dear and the family. It is now time for me to sort your video out and get to bed. I apologise, tonight's video is going to be a bit later than usual, but it's the internet, so you're watching this video anytime. So, yeah, my apology doesn't mean much really. Um, yeah, it's been a good day. I've had a great meal. And uh, night heat is just kicking in now to get me nice and warm. And I shall see you all in the next episode. Thank you all for watching. Thank you again for James. I'll link your videos and your channel in the description. Take care. I'll see you in the next one. Good evening. I am fed, cleaned, watered, and I've spoke to my dear and the family. It is now time for me to sort your video out and get to bed. I apologise, tonight's video is going to be a bit later than usual, but it's the internet, so you're watching this video anytime. So, yeah, my apology doesn't mean much really. Um, yeah, it's been a good day. I've had a great meal. And, uh... Night heat is just kicking in now to get me nice and warm. And I shall see you all in the next episode. Thank you all for watching. Thank you again for James. I'll link your videos and your channel in the description. Take care. I'll see you in the next one. Good evening. I am fed, cleaned watered and I've spoke to my dear and the family. It is now time for me to sort your video out and get to bed. I apologise, tonight's video is going to be a bit later than usual but it's the internet so you're watching this video anytime. So yeah, my apology doesn't mean much really. Um, yeah, it's been a good day. I've had a great meal, and uh, night heat is just kicking in now to get me nice and warm, and I shall see you all in the next episode. Thank you all for watching, thank you again for James, I'll link your videos and your channel in the description. Take care, I'll see you in the next one.